Hello, today we want to talk about the proper adjustment of the Fenris, which is very important for string life. Basically, there are uh, three factors that uh, affect the string life. First, how much you maintain and lubricate the string, where we have a special string wax for that. Uh, second, how fine the, the polish on the trigger claw is. We will show that a little bit later in the video. And thirdly, how well adjusted the fan wrist is. When you look through here, through the slot, you should see that the string is not touching the rail nor the part of the, of the side wall of the fan wrist. Yeah? This is the ideal adjustment, so there, that there is no contact and therefore no wear on the string. If this is not the case, so if you buy a new Fenris and it's not adjusted, um, there are here two screws on this side of the bow mount and also two screws on the other side of the bow mount. You use the supplied Allen key or a metric Allen key, uh, like in our case with the handle. And then you just loosen those up a little bit, not much, just so that they are um, not, not, not tightened down anymore. You do that on both sides. Yeah. And then the whole construction is, is movable. And then you just adjust it in a way yeah, that when you move it forward and backward, that it's not touching. Yeah. Once you have the right adjustment, just tighten it down. You can, if you tighten this, this side and open this side, um, change the orientation the fan wrist does in this direction that's important for example if it's if it's perfectly fit here but it starts to touch the screen later on it's usually that this side is differently adjusted than this side and by losing those screws you can also rotate the fan wrist magazine a little bit that's necessary if it touches for example the top uh, the top side but it doesn't touch on the on the on the bottom side yeah? then you can rotate it in this direction so with these four screws, you can uh, orient the Fenris in any direction and play around with it until you found a um, setting that the string does not touch the rail on any part of the cocking movement. Last but not least, the aforementioned trigger claw. That's this surface that's a little bit blackened here. Um, if, for example, you, it falls to the floor and you have a small burr on it or if there was uh, some problem when manufacturing it and there is a sharp corner or anything, this could very quickly wear through your, st your string. What I like to do is take a little bit of sandpaper, very fine, and just make sure that there is no rough edge on it and you can even polish it to a mirror shine, then you have the best, um, yeah, the lowest wear on the string. Last but not least, the string wax, very important. Whenever you have your, your fabric disassembled, take your time and apply some wax on the middle serving. This is different to a normal bow, where you usually have not much wear on the middle serving. In this case, it's working more like a crossbow, so it's important that this part is lubricated.